So here we have the femur, and the femur is the thigh bone. And you can see that here you have this nice rounded portion. This is called the head of the femur. And the head of the femur articulates or forms a joint with the acetabulum of the coxa. And the head of the femur is located medially to the bone. So this is the medial edge of the femur all the way down to the distal end. So we're starting with the proximal end of the femur. Here's the head of the femur. The head of the femur is attached to the rest of the femur by a slightly narrowed portion called the neck of the femur. So the head of the femur is attached to the neck of the femur. And then the most laterally located on the femur is this large protrusion called the greater trochanter. And the greater trochanter is an important attachment site for muscles of the leg. Here we have our moving distally. We have the shaft or the body or the diathesis of the femur. All of our long bones have a shaft or a body or a diathesis. And then we're moving distally. And again, remember that this is medially oriented. So here's the medial edge. So down at the distal end, we have the medial condyle and then also the medial epicondyle of the femur. So here we have the medial condyle. The condyles here, here's a medial and a lateral condyle. The condyles bear the weight of the body of the legs. So these are going to articulate with the, with the tibia. And we're going to look at that in the next one. So here you have the lateral condyle and the medial condyle. And then sticking out from either side is the, are called epicondyles. Epi means on top of. So epicondyle is on top of a condyle. So here you have the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle of the femur. And these are attachment sites for muscles of the leg. So I'm going to rotate our femur so we can see the posterior view. That was the anterior view. So here we have our posterior view. And we're going to start proximal and distal again. So again, from the, from the posterior view, you can see the head of the femur. That makes this medial. So this is still the medial edge. And since these are named for which side they're on, it's important to recognize that. So here we have our head of the femur, our neck of the femur. Laterally located, we have our greater trochanter. And then from a posterior view, you get a good view of the lesser trochanter, which is another attachment site for muscles of the, of the thigh. So head of the femur, neck of the femur, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter of the femur. Again, the body of the femur or the diathesis of the femur or the shaft of the femur. Again, medial edge over here. So this is our medial condyle, again, bearing the weight of the body and our lateral condyle. And in between the two is what's known as the intercondylar fossa. So here you can see this big divot on the posterior view of the femur called the intercondylar fossa between the medial condyle and the lateral condyle. And again, you can see the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyles as well that serve as attachment sites for muscles of the leg.